Hey everybody, so over the last week I've been driving FSD 12.3. I've been uploading videos here on YouTube and X showing you guys some of the most interesting moments and some of the best moments. And broadly speaking, this update has been a complete game changer to Tesla's full self-driving. That being said, there are a few areas where I still notice the software could use some extra attention. I think even in these places, the software is better than it's ever been, but still a little bit of improvement will be needed before it can get to RoboTaxi level. So here are the different categories and we'll go into each in detail. So one of the biggest areas I've noticed it needs improvements is in navigation. You input a location and the car creates a set of directions to get there and somewhere along the way it tells the car to do something very strange, like making a U-turn when it doesn't need to, or not realizing that it can turn somewhere. Now, in some cases, this has actually created really cool moments. For instance, I was going to this McDonald's and the navigation didn't know where the turn in for the McDonald's was, and the car actually stopped a bit past the entrance, did a U-turn, and found the entrance, even though the navigation was no good. In other places, though, the navigation is simply providing bad instructions. Take for instance, I'm going to the grocery store here. Here are the directions that it gave me on the map. And here are the directions that would actually make sense. Notice that I shouldn't be having to do a U-turn and then turning in anywhere. I should just be able to make a left and then a right and then appear at the grocery store. Instead, it's telling me to do a U-turn and turn into a different parking lot and all these complicated things which causes it, unfortunately, to mess up and get stuck and get confused and go the wrong way. It's not necessarily an issue with the car's ability to reason. It's just an issue with the car receiving poor navigation instructions. Another version of this same type of problem, though, is not necessarily when the car gets bad instructions from the navigation, but rather if the user changes the destination mid-drive, that will sometimes trip up the navigation and make it think that, you know, basically it'll be in the process of trying to make a turn, but then the navigation instructions change on it, but now it's confused whether it should commit to the original direction it was going or whether it should try and go a new direction. Sometimes this works out, other times it makes it do something completely illogical, like here. So, Navigation in general needs to be tightened up. I think this seems to me like a very fixable problem. In certain situations, this can be a catastrophic error. A lot of the time, it's just a frustration that it can work around. Either way, it's a place that needs improvement. The next major place that I've noticed it needs some work is in lane selection and or visually finding lanes properly. Take this, for instance, where the car is trying to take a left turn, but it's mostly in the right turn lane. It kind of got over a little bit, but it didn't really do it on time. Not the best. This is another interesting example. It, it gets in the wrong lane because it's supposed to be going straight through this intersection, but it picks the right turn lane for some reason. But this is an interesting one because it actually corrects itself, as you can see here. But nonetheless, the wrong path was chosen. This is something that should and probably can be cleaned up quite a bit. Here's another example. Now, I will uh, admit the lane lines are a bit hard to see on this particular road, but they're not impossible. And I do feel like I've seen FSD generally do better with worse circumstances. But for some reason, consistently on this particular street, Every time I tried to go here, it had trouble getting into the left lane properly. Here's another example. It doesn't completely horribly mess up, but it could be a lot better. It probably left people on my right feeling like I wasn't giving them a lot of space. So generally speaking, this isn't a massive problem. I've only found a few instances of this, but given how good FSD 12.3 is, the areas that need work stand out a lot more, and so I would say Lane changes and lane lines and finding the proper lane still is a little bit of an issue. 
The next big area for improvement is parking lots. And as far as I understand, this is still an area that they are very much working on. And I assume it will get quite a bit better with the coming releases of uh, actual Smart Summon, Vanish, and Auto Park, which are all supposedly coming very soon. So I assume that, uh, that parking lots will get a lot better. But here you can see, for instance, that as I'm trying to navigate through McDonald's, the car ends up picking the drive-through lane, uh, which is a little strange, I guess. Well, I guess I'm ordering something. When I think the car probably would have been better off trying to find a parking spot or just kind of pulling over to the side or something. Obviously, this is still kind of in the seams of the functionality of FSD, so I'm not super hardcore criticizing this, but it does need to be better. Here's another instance in a Chick-fil-A parking lot. Now, I didn't navigate to the Chick-fil-A. I'm actually navigating the car to get out of here. But the car starts to take the arrows that are pointing it to the drive-thru. So it got a little confused here. These are complicated scenarios that are just going to need extra training. And in other parking lots, you can just generally see that the car often will take lanes that are supposed to be going one way only and it'll go the opposite way down the lanes. And here's an interesting scenario where the car got stuck <laughs> sort of participating in a drive-through line, but I'm not navigating towards the drive-through. Uh, the car is supposed to be going around these cars and exiting the parking lot, but it doesn't seem to realize that it can exit the parking lot. That is until another car drives up in the space that we should be driving in. And then it realizes that there's space and it takes that space. Either way, it could do a better job at recognizing when it is or isn't in a drive through basically. The next major place that FSD could use some work is sometimes the car is a bit slow, and it's not exactly clear why. A lot of the times, especially when you're taking left or right turns where there's traffic coming and stuff, the car really gives a good punch and it gets going where it needs to be going quickly. Other times, though, like in these clips that I'm showing you, sometimes the car will just wait and wait and wait, and there's no good reason why. I'm assuming there's still hesitancy built into the system a bit so that the car doesn't make stupid decisions. Sometimes this hinders it from making the correct decision. Now I'm gonna let this next clip play without commentary so you can feel how truly painful this slowness can be. It's pretty rare, but when it happens, it is painful. So yeah, pretty bad. It's pretty rare that that happens, but when it does, it can be extremely frustrating. In other cases, I'm reluctant to say it's slowness and maybe more likely to say that the car is simply getting stuck as it will sometimes literally require user input before it continues forward. And most of the other issues that I've had with FSD 12.3 have been mostly just miscellaneous little things here or there. On one or two occasions, I've noticed that the turn signals have not been correct. That's extremely rare, but I think it's been maybe one or two occasions where that's happened. And the rest is just kind of the occasional screw up. But I really can't emphasize enough, despite just spending the last 10 or so minutes laying out issues, the number of problems that FSD 12.3 has is minuscule compared to every prior version. I personally, based on what I've seen here, am convinced that Tesla will soft launch its RoboTaxi network with all existing hardware three and up vehicles within the next 12 or so months. But that's for my next video to talk about. Thanks everybody for watching. If you felt this video was useful, feel free to like, subscribe, share it, and I'll catch you guys next time.